Hey guys, so the Galaxy Note 8 chapter is closed and now sights are set on the iPhone 8, the most awaited iPhone of all time. We are less than a month away from the official announcement and more and more stuff is coming out every day. Alright, Tim Cook posted this image of himself on Twitter with that smile on his face. And whoa, what's that? Is that an iPhone 8? Is that the first in-pants look of the iPhone 8? People have been saying a lot of things, speculation that this phone is too tall to be an iPhone 7 and too narrow to be the 7 plus i mean in that way it could also be a galaxy s8 is tim cook secretly a samsunger guys we're not sure so this is open for discussion let me know what you think what's inside tim cook's pants seems like tim cook is not the only person with iphone 8 the psg star neymar was sported with iphone 8 type phone uh, a notch can be seen on the top you can see uh, his own iphone which i believe is iphone 7 is lying there while he checks out the iphone 8 most probably it's a dummy model or it could be a weird case but anyway moving on kgi is making some moves he says all three iphone models including the 7s 7s plus and the iphone 8 will feature three gigs of ram apple has no plans on putting four gigs of ram or higher on their iphones this year like they did with the ipad but the good news is that the dram speeds on all three iphone models will be 10 to 15 percent faster than the speeds on the current iphones such as the iphone 7 or 7 plus this is being done to improve AR performance on all three models. Speaking of performance, all three iPhone models will be overpowered thanks to the Apple A11 chipset. It's so powerful that it allows 4K recording from both cameras, front and back, at 60 freaking FPS. That's really OP. We know that just like the iPhone 8, the 7S family will also have Apple A11 chipset and now it's confirmed by this recent leak of the 7S Logic board. The 7S may not be a feature phone but it is just as overpowered as the iPhone 8. The iPhone 7s will also be thicker than the iPhone 7 because of wireless charging with thinner camera which means that your current iPhone 7 or 7 plus accessories may not fit on the 7s or 7s plus. Smart Apple. Also there was an iPhone 8 presentation in China for Apple's Chinese employees and since they were not allowed to use official iPhone 8 pictures they decided to use the render images. I mean it doesn't matter because we know that the iPhone 8 will indeed look like this. This guy also talked about the battery as well. As we are moving closer to the announcement, there has been a huge waves of parts leaks, front panels everywhere showing us that notch on top with cutouts for sensors, further confirming this design. The 3D facial scanning tech also got leaked and speaking of 3D facial scanner, it's been reported that it's going to work super fast and scan within millionth of a second even in complete darkness. Wow, that's even faster than Touch ID. According to KGI, this 3D facial tech from Apple is at least two years ahead of its competition. Apple has been working on this for five years. Like I said in my previous video, this is truly revolutionary. Because it's so awesome and fast, Apple decided to ditch the Touch ID completely on the iPhone 8. Speaking of Touch ID, we have this confusion causing shitty iPhone with Touch ID leak again. It's back and I hate, I hate seeing these leaks. This is most probably a clone a leak to mess with our minds we know that all the 2017 iphone models will have gloss back not aluminum so again it's a clone and nothing more there was a poll by on leaks on twitter and mostly people voted for touch id in power button but we know that won't happen either it's dead guys it's dead according to forbes.com the case maker notice is now sure that iphone 8 won't have touch id anywhere and that's why they have finalized their cases according to the latest information also so the latest reports suggest that the iPhone 8 will get announced on September 12th. September 20th will be the date for the release of iOS 11, watchOS 4, tvOS 11, and macOS High Sierra. September 22nd is the day for 7S and iPhone 8 pre-orders, and September 29th is where all the iPhone models will be made available in the stores. The iPhone 8 is coming in 64, 256, and 512 GB. Yes, freaking 512 GB storage options. The base 64 GB model will be priced at sweet $999 so you can expect 256 GB to cost 1100 and 512 GB to cost 12 or $1300. Here is everything new with the iPhone 8, a nice compilation of all the information in one image. So apart from the design change, the two new big key things on the iPhone 8 is the OP Apple A11 chipset and the new Face ID. So yeah guys, that's all the latest that is happening regarding the iPhone 8. I'm interested to hear your thoughts and 
and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.